Studio. Welcome once again to my channel. This is Julie's Ishe. And in today's video, I will be making the pepper rice using the paper leaf to wrap my rice. I mean, using the local leaf to wrap the rice. I'll be making pepper stew and rice. Wow, it's going to, it's going to be delicious. It's going to be yummy. Wow, so I want to show you what I'm going to be using in making this rice for today. And lest I forget, before I show you my ingredients, please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please try and subscribe. Share my video to your friends, it might be useful to them. And always give me a thumbs up after watching my, my video. Please, always share me out. Please subscribe if you haven't to get every notification of any video I, I upload. So thank you. Let me introduce you to the ingredients I'm going to be using in making my pepper stew for today. So as you can see in the table, oh these are the, the ingredients I'll be using. You have the, have the bonga and the dry fish here. We have garlic and ginger, we have also shaki, boiled egg, for more fresh tomatoes, my pepper and chicken. I'm using having dry chips, even the 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 the, the um, I'm also grinding some dry ones to it too. And this is my curry, my chai, my Oh yeah, and this is the local leaf I'm going to use in my downlet. We call it a paper leaf, which is normally used for isoko. So, uh, this is my tomato paste, my rice, my onion that I'm going to be having to, to the cooking and the salt to taste. So, right now, let's get started. Okay, now. I'm going to boil my meat. Yeah. Let's stop putting the rest of my pot. And wash my eggs. Wash my eggs before I start my cooking. Okay. Yeah. The shaky sweets. Even this, I'm having everything together, I'm boiling everything together, I'm not separating, I'm not separating it because I'm not going to fry my chicken, I'm going to boil it and add it to the stew like that, so I'm not, I'm not using the frying method.